Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Are you straining when you sing? Never enough. What do you think I'm going to say to you? No. Correct. Goodbye. <laughs> that sounded absolutely terrible. Today in this video you get four tips of understanding why you are straining your voice when it comes to singing and maybe you are one of those strainers. Let's start with number one and that is the range and today I have this hair tie with me. Now you have to imagine your range a little bit like the hair tie. Let's, see, let's say this is your range, I'm in contra alto, let's start with me and whenever I am practicing my range and I'm trying to expand my range, my range, range can grow to a certain extent, right? Now, whenever I practice my range, my range just goes a little bit more up. But if I don't practice my range and I, I neglect it, you know, and I just, I'm just getting lazy over time, it might can go back to its form. Question is, are you singing in the right range or is this your register? Because if I'm singing songs from Whitney Houston, that might sound terrible because it's just not my range from an alto to going into a mezzo or mezzo soprano. It's just going to be very, very difficult. So make sure are you singing in the right range and is this your register? <laughs> Number two, and this is the main cause of a lot of problems when it comes to singing and the singing foundation is air. If you're taking just too much air, if you have a wrong breathing technique, then you might can cause more pain that you want. A lot of straining and this pain and the feeling of your choking on your vowels when you sing is due to a lot of air and then of course the muscles that, that come together because muscles restrict tied up and oh, it can get very painful so moderate your air and try to look out for a really healthy breathing technique number three like mentioned before are the muscles because a lot of straining can happen from all the muscles around our larynx for example a lot of tension can happen from the muscles inside or outside from the neck or, or from your diaphragm if you're tensing too much up your core muscles so you really have to moderate the effort number of your uh, of your muscles so how much power do you really give because if you combine power with air and you try to hit that no you know it can be quite a little bit too much. It has to be a moderate amount of air. Now, one factor for you to strain is also your tongue. Like I mentioned before in other videos, your tongue is really heavy. And if your tongue likes to pull back, then you can feel that kind of choking feeling. Um, here is a picture of the tongue. Please watch out and look for more tongue exercise when it comes to straining. <laughs> Last but not least, the larynx. Now, a lot of you guys know that issue and I am also to blame for it because many times, you know, in the past, I just tried to hit that high note by just forcing my larynx up high, manipulating my larynx into that uh, register that is not really my comfortable zone and, and it might work as a quick solution right there in the moment. But if you do this on the regular basis, this will, this will cause issues, definitely. Now, this is just a false technique. Now, many styles require different larynx position and the higher you go, of course, your larynx move to that position as well. But we want to make sure that our larynx, that we not manipulate our larynx to go there, right? That's just not what we want to do. Many times the false vocal folds will engage and they would just, you know, also, oh, Tanya is singing and I have to just engage and then you have this feeling of you're choking or you are on the toilet uh, 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 or you're giving birth or you're just lifting a heavy object and then you feel that, that false vocal folds that are engaging sometimes when you try to hit that really difficult high note. Now you know all the reasons that can cause for you to strain or you know just to kind of choke on your notes or uh, press the notes or squeeze the notes and yeah let me know in the comment section if you're guilty of one of them. If you want to see how to sing in five minutes then watch that video right now. If you want to have a singing lesson online via Skype then head over to that video. Hashtag weaponize your voice, get strong and kick ass and I see you in my next video.